a nice big room. We'll be able to eat like humans. We'll be able to put our dining table here. We've been eating on our laps on the couch for two years, over two years now. I was hoping I could get to the double hung that I need because I need to get a measurement of it and it's all the way in the back underneath all the windows. We're planning a lot of projects that's why we have been collecting all these windows so we have a ton. Uh, those that I just moved were all the same size, same window and I have exactly six of them and that is, those are going to go in our next uh, cabin build that we're doing here by the creek. That will also have a separate bedroom, kitchenette, and a composting toilet, toilet with a shower as well. We're also planning on putting a well back in there with a pump. And uh, we haven't decided if we want it, maybe we'll upgrade at some point to maybe putting a motor, but we're going to start by digging our own well. And uh, we already have the tip and the pump. We just have to get all of the pipes and fittings and and then we're going to drive it into the ground with a post uh, post driver. Um, but I'm going to mo move the rest of the windows. But what I decided to do, since this is kind of turned out a big ordeal, then I don't want to have to move them back here again. I'm going to reposition them, relocate them underneath our overhang that we just built. And uh, so I'm going to move all of the windows to there.
so the sun doesn't get cool. So I have to measure this before I even move it. I've already moved the rest of the windows. I'm going to get some help with uh, Pink, with my wife, to put the large windows, to get the large windows up there. I have had a shoulder surgery and I lost part of my bicep as a result. Uh, this is like a number of years ago. So, and I actually completely tore my ligament on my right shoulder. They had to put like a clamp to hold it together um, so but anyway that's besides the point but it does reduce my strength considerably um, from what it used to be it's, uh, 62 inches I mean turns out it's a pretty big window <laughs> but it's not so tall 47 47, 47 inches, so just under 4 feet. Unfortunately, I broke the other window that matches that one. Um, it, it cracked during transport when we brought them home. And so um, what I had to do is I had to pull a different window, but it's gonna, it's gonna match pretty good. And I think it's gonna work out because the double hung was too big. It would have been too wide because it's 62 inches wide and then I wouldn't have a room for the door. But, um, as you can see, you know, we have a bit of a pitch. It's not huge, but it's enough for what we need to do. And so that this way we'll have plenty of headroom. So yeah, I, I was saying I couldn't get that side up because I had to go past the window and uh -huh. I wouldn't have made it past the window. As it is, it's very tight up against the siding, so I'm going to go ahead and just put that after. But this is uh, looking pretty good. Yeah, it's great. So it's a big window. 
you know what I mean? I'm still missing two by fours here. Right, to be able like, to get over here. Because then I have to put my header, yeah. Right. Oh, this is nice though, because we, we could see the cabin, we could see the woods, the right. culvert, yeah. we'll see the garden. Yes, we'll have we'll two see doors. The, barn. the real big deal is that by doing this and adding this roof for the entire length of the cabin, we are diverting the rainwater to this end because we never had a gutter here and so we've had a problem with a lot of water and moisture building up in our crawl space. Well, it's the next day and I want to show you some of the changes that Pink and I made this morning. We raised the header because we want to be able to see as much of the... Well, we won't be able to see the sky if we're inside the cabin, but uh, from in here we'll be able to see the sky better. We raised it up about 40 inches. As you can see, I put a piece of wood, a block of wood right here to extend it and uh, it'll be fine. I have to finish nailing and screwing in all of this. So that's what we did this morning. We moved all those headers. We moved one, two, three, four headers. And they were down here, so we raised them up all the way so they'll give better support to the top because we don't have a top plate. I did not have room for a top plate because if I add a top plate, I, it will be too much and I won't be able to have any angle at all and then it will just be a flat roof so that's why we have to leave it like that as you can see we have about three inches of drop three and a half inches from there to there and so that's what we'll have but at least you know we'll have a nice high ceiling it's over seven feet so um at, at the low end over here so i'm happy with that and i think there will be plenty of support most everything has headers because we have so many windows and doors. We have a door on that side, we have a door on this side, so we're going to put a header over here. We got a header over there that's going in today. We got all of these that we just reposition and put them over here. And all I did on these is I put two two by sixes uh, nailed together. And then I put a two by four on either side, on either end. So it, uh, it makes a very strong header, it's about 9 inches.
Let me set my end first, okay? Yeah. Hold on. It's heavy. It's uh, surprisingly heavy. <laughs> okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick it up from here. Mm -hmm. And you're going to set that base on here. Okay. At an angle. Yes. There we go. Let's, hold on, hold on. Because yeah. I have a... Yeah, I put the metal thing here. The middle thing right here? Yeah. Like I'm going to hold the other side. It goes right in. It just keeps it in place. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Oh, because yeah, because it goes in and then it expands a little bit. Yes. There we go. See? Oh, that's look wonderful. At that. that's wonderful. Look at that. Would you look at that? <laughs> He wants to come up on the deck so bad. Speaking of, look, he got an audience. My boy, my boy, my boy. You're a good dog. You're a good dog. Good dog. Love you. You're a good dog. Happy dog. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not going to drop it. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. Okay. You should, okay, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I have to, um... There's a little... No, no, I know, I know. I know what it is. There. Yeah. Oh, there you go. It's so close. Look at that. Yeah. That's good. It's a nice tight fit. Yeah. That's perfect. So that's for that. Um, let me measure again. Let's see where we're at. Let's take a good quick measure. Because we need, what I say, 59 and a half, I think. Mm -hmm. We're at uh, 5. 
So that's perfect. Half, yeah, that gives us half an inch of wiggle no, room. But that, this window's different. And this is perfect. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to set that up now. Let me just see here. Well, for now she's not moving. I'll put one more, I guess. Here, yeah, because I really don't want her moving. Okay, so that's that. There you go. And then if we just staple it on the ends to the supports. Yeah, I'm going to even leave this because it'll keep some of the rain from coming in. Yeah, and we could put then we, maybe we can slide so the two by fours on there the too. Yeah. Yeah, it works out good. Yeah, this is great. It's a huge scarf, but it's only half of it. This and it's only half, yeah, this is the one that we had covering the cabin. Yep. It's worked out amazing. Yeah, great part. <sighs> But yeah, I'm glad that we raised the windows, the headers and everything because it didn't take that long and it was awesome and it looks awesome and we're very yeah. happy that we did that. It really, it makes the, the room so much taller, right? Yes, it does. It raises it, it up raises a lot. It raises it up. And I can even see a little bit of the sky standing right here by the door. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. Almost, so it's not bad. Yes. So. And once once we get the doors and the walls in, it's just going to be amazing. Yeah. Give everybody a look here. We had to, you know, like I mentioned before, build that up, but uh, it's worked out. And we're going to be using these structural screws right here. We're going to be get, getting more of these. They're six inches long. I don't have the correct tip for it, so I stopped doing it because I had this. The tip was was too small. I need to get the correct tip and then we're going to put um, these uh, throughout all of the sides of the base of this support to further support it and um, I don't know if it's really needed but we're going to do it anyway um, but this is absolutely awesome the windows are awesome I love it what do you think guys <laughs> And then, uh, like I said, we're going to have a door here. And then we're doing a four-foot bump out 
with railings and then we're going to have steps on this side to go down to the backyard um, and so this will be like a little balcony we're going to put like a lemon tree right thing right mm -hmm. and, um, and maybe some a, geraniums yeah and it'll be a nice place for the dogs to hang out because they do like to look at the woods right. so them being up higher will make them feel more you know yeah. in charge let me grab a seat and see how that feels yeah this is nice oh boy this is nice yeah this is very and nice. when we put the we'll insulate but when we put the tongue in groove it's going to run perfectly below the soffits of the existing building and continue all the way down because i have the, i have it line up and if i would have used uh, two by sixes for my rafters i wouldn't have had enough room to do all that I need to do with the purlins and the metal roofing. So that's why we went with two by fours, but that's why we have them so close together. Right, that's why So we that it's going to make it very station. strong. Correct, exactly. They're smaller, but there are more of them. I love that sitting here, we could see the cabin, we could see the barn, we could see our woods. Yeah. It's great. It's really nice. It's going to be a, it's it's a great, be a great sun place. room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A nice breakfast, we'll call it our, our little breakfast nook. Right, but you kind of get the idea already with the windows in and everything framed. <laughs> and then we have, you know, the tarp, which gives the illusion of a roof, mm -hmm. even though we don't have one yet. It's but great. It's great. This, this tarp has been amazing. I mean, it's, it's huge and it's just worked out wonderfully. Yes, it has. <coughs> Definitely got our money's worth out of it. Oh, yeah. And then We'll have the roof will continue all the way to the end so we'll have a covered porch and then railings and stairs and and we'll put lattice on the bottom to close some of it in um, we'll probably leave that middle open so we can get to the spigot and also it's a good place for the dogs to be able to shelter from the weather in this way we did not have to disturb the roof of the main cabin we created a totally separate structure. Once we add this four foot extension, like a little balcony and stairs, it will cover all of this ugliness. And I will also paint those with the gray paint that we have painted the bottom of the concrete. We're gonna paint them just for the heck of it, you know, make them prettier. But we're also going to be covering them up. So you won't see them anymore. The windows that we got for $50 a piece, the ones that you see, those three in the front, so that's $150 right there in, on windows. And if you know anything about the price of windows, you know that those are more than that. So we definitely did good on those. But the back of the cabin looks massive now compared to before. Very pleased. And here's kind of a view from the side. There's a footing missing right there. See that? I'm, I'm gonna put it in. I have it, I already have the footing for it in concrete. So we're going to we're gonna do that. The posts are not in the ground. The posts are on top of the concrete footing and uh, with an anchor. So we did not go in the ground for that one. But yeah, imagine when we have the roof on the sand all the way down, it's going to look way different. 